Hi everyone, it's Bob Bloom, and I want to welcome you to this video because it's going to be really interesting. I have a friend of mine, his name is Ted Thomas, and I've known Ted for lots and lots of years. Ted, we go way, way back. Yeah, 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 I know, I know what you mean. So, so Ted and I uh, have, have known each other, as I mentioned, for many years, and I've admired Ted because he has a a business that uh, it, I think so many of you are going to be really interested in. It's a business that has safety, security, and great cash flow, great returns. And uh, I'm going to let Ted tell you more about it. And you're going to want to know more about this. Trust me on this. So, so let me just introduce you to Ted. And uh, and so Ted, take it away for just a minute. All right, I should do that. Well, first of all, welcome everyone. I'm Ted Thomas, and I'm really glad to be here. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Or for the last 30 years, I've been involved in kind of a, a subset of the regular real estate business. And what happens in real estate is they buy and sell houses, maybe apartments, uh, maybe some small offices. Well, every once in a while, someone doesn't pay their taxes. And if they don't pay taxes, well, that's going to have consequences, as we know. So I found out about that by accident, actually, uh, over 30 years ago, and I never looked back. And once you learn what we're going to do, we're going to actually do four videos. And we're going to they'll be just short ones. So you get lots of content out of it. And uh, you'll see that this is something that you can do. Uh, I don't know where you live, but I'll cover lots of states so you get it. But tax lien certificates and tax defaulted property are available in all 3,000 plus counties all across the United States. So anybody can do this. You can start out with 500 or $1,000. And this is a predictable, certain, and secure business. And we teach it in a very conservative way, which I've done for many, many years. So we're gonna answer, uh, Robert and I are gonna answer a lot of questions. Uh, he has made up a list of, matter of fact, of questions to mm -hmm. kind of drill down. And so I'll do the best I can to answer it. So you're about to learn a lot, so stay with us. All right. Well, good, Ted, that's a good introduction. And uh, so, so it's uh, tax lien certificates, and I know that you are really the foremost authority in the country on Thanks. tax liens. So uh, just tell, tell us a little bit about how tax lien certificates actually work. Okay, great. Well, folks, to start out with, all of the legislatures in the United States, in other words, each state has a legislature, they make the rules, they call those statutes, okay? They're just rules. And the rule says, if you own property in the United States, you have to pay taxes. Now, property tax is what we're talking about. We're not talking about income tax or sales tax or anything like that. It's just property tax. Now, property tax, generally speaking, are very low in the, in the neighborhood of uh, some place of 1%, some place 3 or 4%, but they're not high, so it's not very much. In Florida, the taxes are about one and a quarter percent on the value of the property. So you understand that's not very much. So if you're in Texas, it might be a little higher. Washington's like 3 or 4%, but you get the idea. So everybody has to pay tax. Now, if they don't pay taxes, then the state has to do something. So the state, they, they, they don't want to do business with you. They're going to have you do business locally with your county, with your board of commissioners or board of supervisors. So the supervisors are going to tell the tax collector, the treasurer, all right, look, levy the tax, collect the tax. If you can't collect the tax, well, we have to tell those people, we're going to slap their hand. They don't pay the tax. So they issue a piece of paper, just like I'm holding up, just a piece of paper. It's called a lien, a tax lien certificate. So half of the states sell tax liens. The other half of the states are not so benevolent. Those states sell tax deeds. That means they confiscate the property. All right, so there's two businesses here. One is tax liens. So I'm in Florida, so I'll talk about that for a minute. In Florida, if someone doesn't pay their tax, government issues a tax lien, all right? Now I can go pay your taxes. I can buy the tax lien. And if I do, I can make all the way up to 18%. Imagine that, 18% on my money. 1% at the bank, 18% at the county. Nice deal. All right, now those get bid up and down. I'll talk about that in a minute. Now, the other states like California and like Texas, they say, wait a minute, if you don't pay the taxes, they're going to slap your hand a little harder and they're going to say, we're going to sell the deed to your house. So you better pay your taxes. All right. Now, Texas is one of the places you make a lot of money, as a matter of fact. So if someone in Texas doesn't pay the tax, they issue this deed. And every single month they have an auction and anybody can go in and buy it. Anybody can pay your taxes. And if they do, I know you're going to go pay your tax later. But now when you show up to pay, you're going to have to pay your tax plus 25%. All right, so the point I'm trying to make is you and I, we're all going to pay our taxes. All right, someone doesn't pay, 
they're going to have to pay a penalty. Now, you already know that because you got a master charge or visa card. And you have to pay a penalty. All right. So two things going on, tax lien certificates and tax deeds. You can find out what your state does very, very easily. Half of the states do tax liens. They're very benevolent. You know, they don't take the property away. They don't kick anybody out. The tax deeds are a lot firmer. So they're going to say, if you don't pay your tax, we're going to confiscate your property. So that's kind of the business I'm in. And people like it. You can make money at it. There's going to be, this is going to go on forever. It's very predictable. It's very certain. Now, you can't give any money to me. I'm an educator. I'm not a broker. I'm not a CPA. I'm not an attorney. I'm just an average person. And I'm a practitioner for the last 30 years. Wow. Ted, that uh, sounds great. So there are tax liens and tax deeds. And uh, can, you, can you buy all these online? Oh, well, that's a good question. Oh, now buying them online. All right. Now, when I started, everything was, you know, I had black hair and I was skinny in those days. All right. So now, now we've gone to the internet. So you can, I can teach you, anybody like Bob, myself, or you got your kids who will do that. Just, we can teach you to go to, uh, we have access to every county in the United States. I said every county, and we can do this online. And they have online auctions and they have offline auctions. So I actually like the offline because I can go there and bid. And if nobody shows up, I get some really good deals. You get the idea. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, so in a tax lien, the government is not taking anybody's house, right? Oh, no, no. The tax lien, what they're doing, it's very benevolent. Like here in Florida, in the month of May, one million property owners will not pay their tax. Now, don't ask me why, but one million, that's hard to believe. So we can go to the auction online and we can type in the property number and we can pay that person's tax. And when we do, we can make all the way up to 18%. Now, if somebody else wants a certificate, they'll bid 17 or 16 or 15. But the point is, there's a, a million certificates just in the state of Florida. Bid. What I'm saying is, it's an abundant industry. Wow. Well, I, I would imagine people don't pay their property taxes because maybe they've, what, run into financial trouble or maybe there's, you know, health problems or divorce or something like that, lost a job. Some people, some, some people just forget. They just forget yeah. to pay the tax. But, yeah. but absolutely. So uh, here's what happens. People get sick. Now, we've been through this whole thing with COVID. And so a lot of people sick. And so they had other bills to pay the doctor or maybe the kid got in a car accident or something. So they pay those bills first. And the government isn't going to take the property away. They give those people up to two years here in Florida before they ever do anything about it. Meanwhile, you just have to pay that late fee, which is the the way is how you make your money. You're basically making money on people paying late is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I guess uh, credit card companies make a lot of money with late payments too, late fees, right? Well, the credit card company, I have a man, I have a Marriott card in my pocket. I looked it up one day. It was 27%. I said, I think yeah. I'm going to pay it on time. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, you know, tax liens and tax deeds, are, 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 is this a complicated business? No, no, it's very easy. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you a video in a second. There's a couple in Phoenix that um, I'll just use for an example. And you guys will love this example because if you raise your hand like I'm doing now and you buy a certificate and you take it home, there's no work to do. So I bought this piece of paper. I take it home and I put it on my desk. Now, only two things can happen. The people are either going to come in and pay, but if they don't come in and pay, you get the property. All right, so let me say that again. The people either come in and pay you, or if they don't pay you, then you're going to get the property. So this young couple, and I'll show you a picture of them in just a minute. You'll see it on a video. They went and bought a property. Now, what I always tell people is when you buy tax liens or tax deeds, don't assume everything's perfect. You ought to get in your car maybe and go look at it or go online and Google it and really take a good look. But I wouldn't buy a property unless I had boots on the ground. So they got in their car and they drove to the other side of Phoenix and here was a property right on the water. And it was a condominium. So they bought the certificate. It was like 12 or 14,000, something like that. And so they're supposed to get paid off in a year, but they didn't get paid. So they started to worry, what's gonna happen? Are we not gonna get paid? Well, you either get paid or you get the property. So at the end of the second year, they didn't get paid again. So what they did is they went to the judge and the judge you know, took a attorney with them and went to the judge and to, to the judge, we didn't get paid. So the judge awarded them the property. Well, it turns out it was a condominium worth $200,000. So they sold it. And you'll see the video. I'm going to show it right now. I'll come right back. This is life changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do 
maybe even less than that, depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of getting dressed in the morning and, and making yourself up. I mean, it's it sounds silly, but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit. You know, this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not, it's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turned to Ted, we turned to um, all his education, we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. We for were in 11. it total for 11,000. Both of those. And we rented that magic. at 1225 for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account. All right, so there you go. So they, they made $169,000 on one deal. Now, I never made a deal that big, but I wanted to show you an example of what happens if people don't get paid. So you either get paid or you get the property. So that's the, that's the business, and it's been – everything I'm talking about is 200 years old. It's wow. been going on forever. Well, how, does it take a lot of money to get started in this? Well, most people want to start small. So I tell people, start with 1000 5000 something in that range buy a certificate, watch it go through a cycle. You don't have to worry because there'll be another cycle next year, next year, next year, because this is going on for a couple of hundred years. The average year, two or 3% nationwide won't pay their tax. So it'll be different people each year. They run into little difficulties or whatever, or they forget to pay. We have people coming to Florida from Michigan. They forget to send the tax bill to Michigan. Hmm. So they're gonna go into tax default. Now we have Florida Floridians, go to Michigan, they buy a property on the lake in the summer, it was nice and cool, and then they forget to get the tax bills, they get in the same trouble the other way. So it works both ways. It's not, not one bad group or the other. So you get the idea. All right. So are you sure if the property owner doesn't pay that, that you really get the property? I mean, this is not a situation where somebody could lose their money. Is that right? No. Um, well, I don't think it's ever fair that we can say people could lose their money because I don't know, and especially with the politics of today, but uh, <laughs> I, I would say this is the most predictable, certain, and secure business I've ever seen because you're not ever going to invest with me or a broker or a third party. Uh, you're going to invest directly with the government. All right. So now when you invest with the government, you're buying a tax lien certificate. Now, the government doesn't want any more property. They already own the parks. They own the roads. They own the administrative building. They don't, they don't want any more property. So when that person pays the tax, they pay their penalty, then they're, they're going to release the property. But if the person doesn't come in, the government doesn't want it. So they're going to deed the property to you. And that was what we just saw in that video. Wow. That's great. That's great. So, every day. Yeah. So, so uh, the bottom line is just in terms of security, if the taxpayer never, ever pays, you're, you're not going to get your percent. You're going to get the property. Exactly. And that's why I said, don't buy anything without boots on the ground. For example, you wouldn't want to buy on the south end of town if you hadn't gone over there and looked to see what it was, because maybe it's just an open field mm -hmm. or maybe it's, a, maybe it's a drainage ditch or something you don't want. So what you always, we always instruct people when they come to class, we said, all right, now you got to check out the property. Now, you would never marry the woman without having a look. <laughs> and uh, believe me, the woman's smart enough to know she's not marrying you until she looks at you. So it's really just the same thing. So just yeah, kind of yeah. basic common sense kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, good, good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ted, I think this sounds really fascinating. And uh, uh, I think we're going to do some more videos. So uh, right. everyone stay tuned right. because we're going to send a new video to you tomorrow. And uh, you're going to learn a little bit more about tax liens so, and tax deeds. So 
Stay tuned and look forward to that video, okay? Folks, write it down because we're gonna send you these videos and on the 22nd day of the month, which is right after you get the video, huh? we're gonna do an all day, one day. So when you look at these videos, you say, whoa, I learned a lot. I'm gonna give a six hour, that's a long virtual seminar, but you can sit in your living room or you can sit in your car, you can watch on your iPad, you can watch on your phone, whichever way you want. They're gonna give a whole class on that. So we're gonna encourage you to register for that. So right below me, there'll be a registration, but I'll see you tomorrow because we're gonna to be back with another video. See you tomorrow.